Hey, what's up, my friends? It's your friend Watchman El Velador 83, and I'm coming at you with a new video. Sorry, I haven't been around to make no videos. I just, like always, I work a lot, and I haven't been able to post anything. But lately, I've been seeing a lot of articles, a lot of news that's been catching my eye. But after watching all this, having these feelings, I had a dream, and I had a vision. And from that vision, I came up with a speculation. If I'm not able to put it here, I'm going to make a part two and put it in part two. All right, my friend. So with that said, let's get started. So when I was like in my 4th of July weekend, it all started with the Pope and his mission. You know, I'm just like, what's going on in the world? You know, so I need to... Look it up and see what I come up with. Start reading articles, not this mainstream media BS, you know. But it all started. It all started happening when the Pope was just going all over the world. This guy has been going all over the world, talking to religions, gathering. I mean, if you see him like right now in South America, millions and millions of people are following this guy. Come on, and now he has this agenda that he just wants to have. A one world religion. Pope urges all religions to unite for peace and justice. And, and since I don't got that much time, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the, the link in the description box. But then I started reading from the Pope his, his, his agenda for a new world religion. Then I started reading, which most of you already know. That collapse of Greece, which we already know, after the collapse of Greece, it's possibly gonna continue on to other European countries, from the EU, all over all over Europe, and then eventually it's like countries like China, and then finally in the United States. The thing with China, the United States, if you guys have been reading, uh, China is already collapsing. And the United States have that weird glitch on the trading block or uh, down in Wall Street. I'm going to put that. I'm going to also, I'm going to put a lot of articles in my description box so you guys can just look them up. You know? But after that, I was kept on reading and reading. And then when the collapse finally happens here in the United States, which a lot of people are convinced that it's gonna happen this year later this year and guess what's also happening later this year jade helm when people have nothing to eat when people start going to start to go crazy they have no money they're gonna go out in the streets and start gonna rioting and all this stuff now it kind of makes sense you know and after that then on 4th of July, I got the news that we got some Russian bombers getting too close to the coast of Alaska and California. And I got, I got it right here, and there we go, right there. Uh, let me go up, let me go up. U.S. scramble fighter jets to intercept Russian bombers close to American coastlines on 4th of July. Like I said, I'm going to put that in the description box. But the thing is, and then, after that, I'm like, whoa, you know, I'm trying to enjoy my weekend. After that, then I go, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys seen this. But this weird cube-shaped UFOs. I mean, you can tell this picture's a little uh, pixelated. But look at that. They came through these holes, man. I mean, that's weird. Which I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. You know, just another thing to take into my head a lot from all this stuff that's been happening. Another thing to um, to take into my head. I'm not so I'm going to do more information about it. Then after that, that leading rabbi, I forgot what his name is, but I got the article right here. The... Uh, Leading Israeli rabbi says the arrival of the Messiah is nearby. 
Uh, his name is Rabbi Kaim Kanievsky. Something I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm gonna put this article on there. But this guy says that it's imminent that Jesus Christ, well, not Jesus Christ, their Messiah, is coming into the world now. He's on his way. Which brings me to the next thing. If you go to the Temple Institute, if you go to their website, they already have plans. They already have stones. These guys are already rebuilding this temple. I mean, this is crazy, man. I mean, I don't know what's going on. You know? I mean, all these news all over the world, you know, have been catching my eye. I mean, they're going to rebuild God's temple. For what reason? Like I already said, they already convinced that their Messiah is on the way. I mean, come on. You know? I mean, it's just so... A lot of news has been going around my head, and I've been wanting to do videos for each and every single one of them, but I mean, time and time and time, I just don't have the time. I, I work a lot, you know, like... And I need to find some time so I can make videos for each. But I don't know if all the all that news just got engraved into my brain. And I started having dreams. And I had a vision. And from that vision, I have some, um, I don't know, like my own thoughts of what's about to happen. Or I don't know. You know, I just... A big speculation, nothing true. But I'm going to post part two pretty soon here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love y'all. And God bless you. Much love, peeps. Bye.